George Washington is a marble bust portrait of George Washington, done in the style of a Roman emperor, by the Italian sculptor Giuseppe Serechi. It was created as part of a campaign by Serechi to build a larger monument to Washington. The bust was thought by many to be one of the most lifelike. It was later used as a model of Washington for works by other sculptors and engravers. History in the spring of 1791, Cherokee came to Philadelphia, then the seat of the United States government, in an attempt to get a commission from Congress for a monument designed to perpetuate the memory of American liberty, featuring an equestrian statue of Washington. While waiting for congressional action, he made bust portrait models of several of the founding fathers, such as John J. Thomas Jefferson and Alexander Hamilton. Initially, Washington did not want to pose for the sculptor, but eventually did so in late 1791, early 1792. Serechi left for Europe in 1792, and then returned to Philadelphia in 1794. He then had Washington sit for him again to finish the bust from life in 1795. Description Seraki portrayed Washington in the style of a Roman emperor, with short wavy hair, wearing a toga, which is pinned by a rosette brooch. Inscription The original work is inscribed on the back in Latin, C-E-R-A-C-C-H-I-F-A-C-I-E-B-A-T-P-H-I-L-A-D-E-L-P-H-I-A-E, 1795. Legacy Washington refused to accept the gift of this bus from Cherokee in 1795, though it was displayed in the president's residence until the sculptor presented him with a bill of $1,500 for it that spring, at which point the bust was sent back to Cherokee. However, the bust was then bought by the Spanish minister, Joseph de Jordines Y. Nebot, and shipped to Spain. It was next bought by Richard W. Mead, an art collector, who brought it back to Philadelphia. After his death, it was acquired by Governor Kemble of Cold Spring, New York. Subsequently it was in the collection of the Corcoran Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. In 1904, it was purchased by John Lambic Hadwallader. After his death in 1914, it was bequeathed to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, where it is now displayed in the American Wing. In 1809, Thomas Appleton, an American consul in Italy, acquired a plaster cast of the model. Later, this was used by the Italian sculptor Massimiliano Ravenna to create several marble copies. About 1816, one of these was bought by the White House for $80 and is now located there. The bust was also used as a model for engravings of Washington. One such engraving was included in The Life of George Washington by Washington Irving Gallery by Massimiliano Ravenna after Cherokee, 1815, by Ravenna after Cherokee, 1819, by Henry Bryan Hall, 1856.